by request, kick ass facts, dragonflies. Pew, 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 pew. I don't know if that's what they sound like. Griffinflies, the gigantic precursors to modern dragonflies, had wingspans of over two feet and dotted the skies over 300 million years ago. Scientists made an experiment by placing dragonfly larvae in a test chamber which mirrored the Earth's oxygen levels from 300 million years ago. As a result, dragonflies grew about 15% larger than their normal size. Dragonfly nymphs pull water into their anus to facilitate gas exchange. When the nymph expels water, it propels itself forward. <laughs> Same. Their copulatory organs are on the underside of the abdomen, up around the second and third segments. They have several segments. Dragonfly sperm, however, is stored in an opening on the ninth abdominal segment. Before mating, the dragonfly has to fold his abdomen over in order to transfer sperm to his penis. How much money we'd all save on birth control if that were... Dragonflies live for months or even years if you count the entire life cycle from egg to adult. In some species, the aquatic nymphs molt up to 15 times, a growth process that can take several years to complete. An adult dragonfly's main objective is to mate before dying, but most adults will live for several months at least while eating, patrolling, and mating. There's a myth, lots of myths. There's a myth that dragonflies can sew your mouth or ears or eyes shut. People perpetuating this myth refer to dragonflies as the devil's darning needles, and they usually use it to keep kids well-behaved. Swedish folk legend accused dragonflies of poking out people's eyes and referred to them as blind stingers. From Germany to England, people associate dragonflies with the devil, giving them nicknames like water witch, hobgoblin fly, and even snake killer. Romanian folk folklore and the story of St. George. In this myth, the devil turned George's St. George's horse into a gigantic insect that earned dragonflies the Romanian nickname for devil's horse. Since the Romanian word for drac means both devil and dragonfly, the insect soon became the dragonfly. According to some folklore, seeing swarms of dragonflies signify incoming rain. For some cultures, dragonflies represent good luck and prosperity, especially when it lands on your head. There are more than 5,000 species of dragonflies, all of which, along with damselflies, belong to the order Odonta, which means toothed one in Greek and refers to the dragonfly's serrated teeth. I can't even imagine them having teeth. In Indonesia, dragonflies are served boiled or fried. They're considered a delicacy and can taste similar to soft-shelled crab. If you put a dragonfly wing under a microscope, you will see billions of tiny nanostructures. These fingers are small enough to grab bacteria and hold on tight. As the bacteria try to escape, they tear themselves apart, keeping the dragonfly safe and healthy. Dragonflies can fly backward at the same speed and strength as they fly forward. They are cold-blooded, which means they can't regulate their own body temperature or thermoregulate. They keep themselves cool on a hot day by standing in a headstand. This reduces the amount of surface area on the body that is exposed to sunlight. 